Hello, hello. How are you? Hi. Hi, hi. Good evening. How are you today? I'm working. Working. <laughs> Who's working? Brenda. <gasps> I'm just listening there for a moment of my Oh my goodness. Wow. Merry Christmas. And I have an event and I do a cover two of pictures. Oh, you have to make the presentation. Oh, wow. okay. you're the photographer, the official photographer. Okay, Brenda, so sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's exciting time to create, right? But unfortunately, that you have to work. Okay. Hi, hi. How are you? How are you today? Fine. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Vamos a ver qué le dan. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Mira que yo estaba bien ida aquí, traveseando, haciendo cosas. Sí. Para el lobo. Uh, I'm still driving. In a few minutes. You're driving. Okay. So you're going to get some, uh, get home. In how long? In, the in a 15 minutes. Ah, oh, that's great. That's okay. Ooh, we're getting to the end. I'm checking your antennas. Some of you need the need to be here for the rest of the of the classes, right? To be able to have the the complete time. But this attendance is better than last course, definitely. Okay. Vamos a ver. Friday the second, December the second. How many are we? Eight. We. It's not Friday. See, it's Friday, but uh, it's, it's not Friday today. But yes, it's Friday. Fridays is like the weather is a uh, the well the traffic. It's more difficult. Mm -hmm. Bueno, let's see. Let's start checking attendance. Adolfo, present, present. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofía. Ana. Ana, Ana. Brenda. Present teacher. Antonio. Uf. Present. Claudia Guadalupe. No, Claude. David. David. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Wait. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Nice. Mauricio. Mauricio, Mauricio. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Great. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl. Sulma Yanet.
Víctor Manuel. Víctor. Fernando Enrique. Fernando. No. Rosy. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, anybody join after I call you? Let's see. Carlita, maybe, right? Observerto, yeah. Mm -hmm. Adriana. Okay. Let's see. Carla Lorena, yes. Adriana Maria. O Adriana Sofía. Adriana. Adriana María. No. Teacher. Ah, yo dije no. Ok. Vaya. Ok, ok. We are now nine. Ten with me. Right? Ten. Okay, well, we have a lot to do today. We're going to be very busy people. We're going to be talking about different things. We're going to make a review of what we were doing, we were talking about yesterday. Remember yesterday we were talking about nouns. Nouns ending in or or ending in air, right? Those types of nouns, nouns ending in or, or when we add, right, we add the suffix to the noun or to the verb to make the noun that means uh, to talk about people, right? For example, teach, teacher. A profess, professor, instruct, instructor, write, writer, right? And how we form by adding or or air to the to the verb, we form the noun, right? That's just refreshing what we were talking about yesterday. Now, check. This is the... Um, uh, the topic for today, design a proposal to implement a cycle count program. That's what you're going to be working today, a part of checking a little bit of grammar, right? Design a proposal to implement a cycle count program. And the objective is uh, to be able to design a proposal to implement a cycle count program. Okay? So that's what you're going to be doing at the end. Check. Remember yesterday, you were working on this, on the plan to organize an effective inventory management system. And I have the groups of the people. I want to see if I have a couple of groups volunteer. The ones that are ready, probably not complete, but there are still a couple of you that are able to share. Group number one was Adriana Maria, Claudia Guadalupe, Mauricio. Group number two was Adriana Sofia, Carla, Pedro, and Rosy. I guess it's one of the most complete. And number three, Ana, Fernando, Jose Nolo, and Zulma. Number four, Adolfo, Brenda, Jose Alberto, and Jose Alfredo. And number five, David, eh, Nubia, Saul, and Victor. Okay. Do I have any volunteers to share? Volunteers. Now I refresh your mind about who you were talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Pedro? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you share what you did yesterday? Your plan? I am that. Okay. I am that way. Perfect. Give me a second. 
moment okay. I am working in the mm, yes are you ready to share your screen not not yet I, I'm looking oh okay okay a ver any other group that is ready Carlita is the same group. Oh, you are yeah. with Pedro. Okay. Yes, and Rosie. And Rosie. Okay, great. Great, great. Teacher, dígame. Me permite compartir. Please. Sure, sure. Let me see. Okay, there you go, Rossi. Okay. Pedro, ahí está. Okay. Uh, as a group, uh, we think uh, about it. Uh, we discuss this this uh, subject, and we think uh, that the first step is receive inventory with the speed and accuracy. That is. Uh, the second step. If there are different between the orders you submitted and the actual inventory delivered, grab a copy of your purchase order to check and catalog all the new inventory before it is put away in the stockroom. Because I think uh, it is uh, necessary to receive all the products uh, in the in the warehouse or in the space and to, to organize. Then the number two is uh, the organ, uh, organize the product and the vendor information because uh, we need to get all the products and vendor information, organize it uh, in one place. And the, and the product information, the description of the products and the shipping info Include as well the business name and business contact info. Then the number three is tag and label inventory. Uh, this uh, it, it will be ensure uh, the, the customers and cashiers not confused are not confused. Uh, they will not uh, confused about the product prices or the product uh, quantities. Then uh, the number, oh, yes, uh, the number four, uh, create and submit uh, accurate, accurate purchase orders because, okay, okay. because uh, uh, incorporate a purchase order system to make purchase accurate and avoid confusions. But uh, uh, this, uh, to avoid the confusions, it can be in the inventory. Uh, then the number five is record your sales. That is the last, the last step because uh, you need to record all the product, what, what product was sold, what the product listed price is, and, this, and, and the discount. Uh, that the product it can uh, you can give to the customer and uh, the price was actually paid for the product. That is the final step. Yeah, because we record, think record your sales is basically when the product is living, right? 
Yes, yes, it's sale. And the others are when they are arriving, okay? Yes. Excellent, thank you, Pedro. Good job, very good. Okay, do I have another group volunteer? One more? One more? Aha, vamos a ver, so we have, this was group number two, Adriana, Sofia, Carla, Lorena, Pedro, and Rosy. Eh, what about group number three? Ana, Fernando, Jose, Noldo, and Zulma. Uh -huh. Number four, there is nobody. Eh, Jose Alberto is driving, Brenda is working, Adolfo is meeting. Jose Alfredo is not here. Group number five, David. Novia, Saul, I guess is not here. Victor is working. Okay. All my hope goes to group number three, Ana, Fernando, Jose Arnoldo, and Sul. <laughs> Democraticamente, yes. Hi, hi. Hello. Hi, hi. Yeah. Can you share the plan with us? What, whatever you have? Uh, I am not ready because I don't write it, but I have it uh, on my No, mind. but you don't, you don't need to share the screen. Just tell me in your, in your words what you did yesterday as a plan. You told okay. me yesterday, Fernando? that you had done, that for you, the plan included three steps and that was enough? Yes. Okay, do you remember which steps are those? Uh, let me think. Mm. I keep keep sorted uh, the, your product and your inventory. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe using a system mm -hmm. to do that. Yes. And maybe what is the the other thing I don't remember, teacher. A ver, Ana, do you remember the other step? No, teacher, mm -hmm. so I remember. Okay, Sulma, do you remember? Uh, we was talking about uh, how can can do the inventory and we was talking about the machine that you can put in the product to to read in the, the the labels the label exactly and you can to see in the system and having control that is the same as you have in the system mm -hmm. exactly. it was other form to take the inventory uh -huh, exactly. If everything is labeled, if everything is organized and separated, that plan will work, right? It will become easier to keep the track. Okay, yeah. nice. Thank May, you much. Take inventories regularly. Exactly. That's uh, that's what a uh, high cierto. That's what you told me yesterday, right? Take inventories regularly. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I have problems to share. What happened here? Uh, uh, I cannot share. Vamos a ver. Alt plus S. No sé dónde está la S. <laughs> My keyboard does they have some letters. Ajá. Ok, come on. Creo que algo minimice. Ay, qué loca. Aquí está. <laughs> so sorry. I know it was minimized. That's why I was not able to share anything. But okay, perfect. 
So that was a, a basic plan to organize an effective inventory, right? And one of the common things that you were mentioning there is organization. If you're organized, everything will work. And that is in everything, right? In life, in your job, in everything you do. If you're organized, everything will work. If you're not organized, Things definitely do not work well. Good, good. Remember, just refreshing your mind before we continue uh, talking about parts of speech. Present teacher. Hey, hello, Mauricio. How are you? Remember, uh, just a day we were saying that when we have a verb, not always, right? But in some cases, when we have a verb, like the case of manufacture, and we want to mention the doer of that action, what we do is that we add er or or to the verb to make it become a noun. Yes? And then you say, well, manufacture, the person who manufactures is a manufacturer. Supply, the one that supplies is a supplier. Distribute, the one that distributes, it's a distributor. Manage, the one that manages is a manager. Retail, the one who retails is a retailer. And wholesale, the one that wholesales is a wholesaler. And the one that sells is a seller, right? So that's why I'm a teacher because I teach. If I were at the university, I would be a professor because I profess, right? So that will uh, depend on what uh, you want to say. Remember, we were saying in some cases you are adding ER and in other cases you are adding OR, okay? To make that suffix. Now, let's go over the exercise and check. It is very important that you know, and we're going to talk about that later. It is very important that you know when you have to use a noun and when you have to use a verb in this case. Later on, we will be talking about the importance of differentiating or distinguishing or discriminating, as you prefer to say it, when to use a noun, an adjective, a verb, or an adverb, right? So we're going to be talking about that later. Okay, look at the examples. The employees want the manage or the manager to organize the inventory. Which do you think is the best option here? Mm -hmm. Retailer. Mm -hmm. The number one? Yeah, no. manager teacher. Manager. Mm -hmm. The employees want the manager to organize the inventory. Very good. What about number two? They distribute the products all around the country or they distribute the products all around the country? They distribute. Mm -hmm. The verb, right? Yes. Okay. Ay, qué bonito. They distribute. Uh -huh. the, <clears throat> the products all around the country. Number three, inventory counts provide assurance, reassurance to the manufacturer or to the manufacturers. Inventory con counts provide reassurance to the manufacturer or to the manufacturers. What do you think? Manufacturers. To the manufacturers, yes. Nice. The accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock required by the retail or by the retailer. Mm -hmm. 
Retail tissue. Retail or retailer? Do you need a person? Or do you need a verb? Hmm? Retail store teacher. So then, uh -huh. buy a retail store or buy a retailer store? Retail store. Retailer store. Um, the supply or the supplier needs to use, needs us to use or to keep track of how much product is left. The supplier. The supplier. The supplier needs us to keep track of how much product is left. Nice. Okay. Just a uh, generalizing, we'll say that nouns, right, talking about nouns. A noun is a person, is a place, or a thing, right? For example, the ones we were mentioning yesterday, we said, if it finishes in or or air, we're talking about a person, right? Inventor, creator, writer, author, they are persons, right? So a noun can be a person, can be a place, can be a thing, can be an animal, it right? can be different things. For example, examples of a person can be sister, friend, you can have names of people, Alex, Stephanie, you, me, Right, dog. So you and me will be like pronouns. Remember, we use a pro now, now instead of a noun. Examples of places: house, beach, New York, playground, the store. Examples of things can be physical things or ideas like chair, pencil, thoughts, memories. And knowledge, right? Those are examples only. There, are, there can be many more. Especially when we want to, uh, when we want to make a a word can be an adjective or a verb become a noun. There are some different endings. The ones that we add, uh, for example, if we say sadness, tristeza is a noun, right? It's an idea. So you say sadness. Happy is an adjective, but if you say happiness is a happiness is a hmm? happiness is a noun, right? Okay. By a check. Then we have verbs. What are verbs? Mm -hmm. An action. Okay. An action, for example? Drink. Run. Read. Uh-huh. Uh, verbs are actions. They are used to describe things that nouns do, right? That That's what the actions uh, do. They describe uh, things that nouns do. Uh, mm -hmm. An example of a verb would be run. Run is a word to describe someone or something who is moving faster than a walking speed, right? Other examples of verb include sing, watch, play, sleep, study, walk, and think. So you know, all 
actions could be uh, verbs. There are different types of verbs, but we here we are going to be talk up. Uh, we're going to talk about actions. Okay, look at this. What are adjectives? Who wants to help me read? Mm -hmm. Adjectives are describing words. Mm -hmm. They are used to describe nouns. An example of an adjective would be beautiful. Beautiful is a word to describe somewhere, someone or something. For example, the sky is beautiful. Since the sky is a noun, and beautiful is used to describe it. That makes beautiful an adjective. Other example adjectives are blue, dark, warm, happy, good, and fast. Exactly. So we have blue. Colors are adjectives, right? Nationalities are adjectives. So if you say Salvadorian, Honduran, Costa Rican, those nationalities are adjectives. The colors are adjectives too, right? And remember that the purpose of an, of an adjective is to describe someone or something. So if you say the sky is blue because the sky is a noun, right? Beautiful is used to describe it. That makes beautiful an adjective. So the sky is beautiful. I saw a beautiful sky. Okay. Now, check this. We also have adverbs. Remember yesterday, we were mentioning or we were talking about some different types of adverbs and how those adverbs modify uh, different words. Yeah. Adverbs modify are words that modify the action. And then you say how the action is done. Uh, the adverb can modify a verb, can modify a noun, uh, an adjective, sorry, and can modify another adverb. We were mentioning that yesterday. Right now, we're concentrating about adverbs as words that modify verbs. For example, quickly is an adverb. So you say, I walk quickly, and you are modifying in this case, you are modifying how you walk. I walk how? How do you walk? I walk quickly. Yes? Quickly is an adverb. An easy way to spot an adverb is by the ending. We were saying that yesterday that L-Y, it's an ending generally for an adverb. And that is an adverb of manner. Some examples of adverbs are Nicely, proudly, slowly, and firmly, right? That's according to what we were mentioning yesterday. Those are adverbs that modify nouns. Okay? Any question? No, teacher. Okay. Now, look at this. Can somebody help me read? Me. Some words can be used as either a noun, verb, adjective, or an adverb. Usually, do or thought, teacher? Do. Do. Usually, to, you'll do. have to think. Like all do, right? But this is the do. choice. Usually, do, you'll have to change the endings of the words depending on how you want to use them. Mm -hmm. The following part has some examples of words that you can change to be different parts of speech. Yes, and we're going to see them. Check. So when we talk about parts of a speech, parts of a speech are these words, noun, verb, adjective, and adverb. 
And sometimes as we, when we are talking about, remember yesterday we were mentioning roots, right? We said a teach has the same root as teacher. The only difference is the ending, the suffix that we add to teach to make it teacher, right? Great has the same root as greater. The root is like the beginning of the word that is the same for any of the words that you can be using. So what happens is that when you make a change in the end, that can become a different part of speech. And I show you the example here, check. For example, decision is a noun, right? Decision. Check some endings for nouns, shong or shang, ness, right? And there are some others, but here we're going to, to mention just a couple. So if I have the noun decision, my verb is decide, and then I have the adjective decisive, and the adverb is easier to recognize, right? Because to the adjective, I only add li. And then I have decisive, decisively. Decide as a verb. My noun, I change here the j, and I add shang, and I have desi shan, which is the root that I have for all the for all of the the parts of speech desi. That's the root desi. Yes. Probably the C C in some of them is the same as here. But not for the side, but for the verb, there is a difference. Creation, my root will be cre hasta la letter T, create, check, create. That's the root. The root is the part of the word that does not change. It doesn't matter what is the part of speech that you use, right? So you say creation, creation, create, creative, and creatively, creatively. Sadness, sudden, when we have the verb sudden, shorten, strengthen, right? That's this en ending for the verb. So we have sadness as a noun. To the adjective sad, if we add li, it becomes a verb. If we add ness, it becomes a noun. If we add den, it becomes a verb. So in different cases, it will vary, which is the word can be an adjective when you add something, it becomes a verb. When you add something, it becomes a noun or it becomes an adjective. Or in other cases, it's the verb, the one that it's like the beginning of the changes. Check here, act. I have act, but if I add if, it becomes an adjective, active. If I add, if I add eon, it becomes a noun that will be action, right? But if to the adjective I add li, it will become another. So active, active li, right? Then I have my verb, my adjective is quick. Adding li, you have the other quickly. Adding n, we have quick n, that will be the verb. And nothingness, it will become a noun. So that's why I was telling you, depending on the suffix that you add to the word, it can become a different part of speech, right? Here we have the noun heal. Adding th is the verb health, right? Unhealthy, unhealthily. See? Health can be also a noun taken at salud, right? Healthy is an adjective and healthily will be the adverb. 
So that is uh, just for you to have it as a general knowledge that yesterday we were mentioning only how we can make a noun coming from a verb, but that's not the only the only thing. You can have many other uh, word formations by adding a suffix. And remember, the suffix is the last uh, part that we can add to a word to form a different one. Any questions here? No questions? No, teacher. Okay. Now, I'm going to share an exercise for you. I want you to look at this according to all the things we have been mentioning today. I want you to give a check to it and see what is the part of speech that we have in each of these cases. Mm -hmm. What is the part of speech? I'm going to give you a, um, let me move this. I'm going to send you to the groups. I'm going to send you this, this to, the, to the chat for you to move, work, discuss with your partners and decide if the words that you see there are nouns, adjectives, or verbs. I, my WhatsApp is very slowly. Let me check. Okay, here it comes. I copy. It has been turning around trying to charge all the class. Well, I'm going to share a I'm going to share the, the sentences in the group. And I'm going to send you to work together. Remember, what you have to do is decide the part of speech each of the sentences or underlined words are. If you have there a noun, an adjective, a verb, or an adverb. Okay? I'm going to say you are 16, so I'm going to make groups of four. Four groups of four. There you go. Checking, checking. If you can see the invitation to the call. Uh, teacher. No le aparece, Fernando. No, no, como no. Eh, solo que my boss just called me. Oh. And I need to to be a, a a listener for a while because I have to to help he help him with something. Okay. Okay, I understand that. Uh, it's going to be just 15 minutes at least. Okay, sure. As soon as you finish, you can join with us again. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Check, check. Eh, Jose Alfredo, Victor, Cruz, hello. Un un verbio. Creo que eso era. Que dice. Yo entendí que había que buscarle qué era cada en cada oración. Uh -huh. o no sé. Identify the parts of speech for each underlying. Oh. Ajá, ¿qué son? ¿Qué son? son? Son adjectives, son verbs, son nouns. Ok. According to the use, right? To them. Part of speech I mean, Number one, he often plays the trumpet. The underlying word is he. 
there is a now or no? <laughs> Quiero ver. He. He, uh, according to the teacher explain, is a uh, noun. He. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Okay. Número uno, entonces, es un noun. No. Pro pronoun. Pro. Ah, pronoun. Ah, oh, ok. Sí, por pronoun. Sí, porque se ocupa en lugar del noun. Ah. Pronoun, ok. Number okay. two, like. Like. Uh... <laughs> like, uh, do you like dogs? That is a uh, uh, thing. Hi, uh, right, teacher, I'm here. Okay. You can also help. Yes, yes. Do you like dogs? It's not a verb. Verb. The number two is a verb. Two. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. Okay, it's el grupo. Adjective. What is well? Adjective, maybe. ¿Qué está calificando? Eh, ¿Su resultado o cómo lo hizo en la prueba? Ajá, ¿cómo hizo? What is this? Verb. A verb. Ajá. So it's modifying a verb. What do we use to modify verb? No, how did you do this? No. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What do we use to modify verbs? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you, the adjective modifies a noun. Mm -hmm. But there is another word that modifies adjectives. It's adverbs. Uh -huh. That's an adverb, exactly. It's an adverb because it is modifying the verb. Sin ese. Adverb. No. You said no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And number 10, verb. 
Não. 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 Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Fine. Happy. Fine, happy. <laughs> I go checking here. Fast. Yes. What is fast modifying? Fast is modifying a noun, car. Exactly. So if it's, so it's an adjective. It's an adjective, yes. Okay. Remember, remember that fast is an irregular word, right? It is yeah. an it is yeah. an adjective and it's an adverb too. But in mm -hmm. this case, yeah. in this case, as because it's modifying the car, mm -hmm. it is an adjective. Okay. What is well modifying? A noun. <laughs> Which no a verb. No. no. We did well. Uh -huh. It's modifying the verb. What word do we use to modify verbs? Adverbs? Adverb. That's an adverb. Oops. Es que esa es la clave. Que le ponga atención de qué es lo que está modificando. Está modificando. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah, ya, si okay. ven que modifica un noun, es adjective. Si ven que está modificando un, un adverb. Un verb or another adverb, that's an adverb. Okay. Mm -hmm. So drives carefully, it's okay. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the other two too? Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Muy bien. Muy bien, let's go. Now you're ready. <laughs> yes, teacher. Teacher, ¿verdad que llegamos hasta el viernes? No, Monday. El lunes terminamos. Sí. Estaba, ah, pues no estaba tan desquiciada, ya sabía. Ya. Entonces tenemos que ya haber terminado la, el, el examen. Yes. yes. <ríe> Teacher, yo creía que el viernes. No, no. Y es que sí, ¿verdad? Que la programación de la clase lo han tirado hasta por allá, que llegamos bien lejos, pero no. Yo creo que lo han programado así porque en caso de que, ups, no, no se fue la luz o cualquier cosa, reprogramamos. Yo espero ah. que lo dejan ellos así como abierto. Ajá. But we finish on Monday. Yeah. Teacher, voy a, voy a tratar de terminar entonces ahora por la noche. Si acaso todavía puedo terminar mañana en la mañana. Claro. O ya no. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Yo voy a dar la Bye. última revisadita. Este, hoy reviso, vea. Hoy reviso, uh -huh. voy a revisar mañana tarde y termino de retocar lunes. Para que vale. así el martes. Pero me voy a. Así el, me voy a aplicar. Temprano ya, ya ellos cuando entren y recojan las notas martes, porque en este caso van a recoger notas cabalito el, el último, el último día del curso. Entonces ya sí. O sea que la encuesta, teacher, la llenamos el lunes. Sí. Sí, el lunes. ¿Y por qué yo estaba tan creída que hasta el viernes, teacher? Eh, quizás porque me ha faltado varias clases. <risa> <risa> me llega así esa forma tan... <risa> Sutil. Ajá, Sutil. De, de, de decir, ¿no? <risa> Pero, <a ver. risa> sí, no, ya, ya, ya estamos... Casi, casi. Y o sea que la otra semana es de inscripción también. Sí, ¿verdad? Para el otro. Sí, ahí les mandaron un, una correspondencia sí. que dice de que Pero, hasta el 9 de diciembre les van a estar recibiendo documentos. El 9. Ajá. Quizá por eso me, llamo, me escribieron ayer. Ah, pues por eso te confundiste, porque quizás pensaste que, el, como decía, 9, que el 9 terminaba. Ajá. Ajá, no. Pero, pero dice que, este, que aquí está el documento. Sí, sí. a mí ya me dijeron que, que para inscribirme en el otro sí necesito el diploma. Entonces quizás sí voy a escribir para ver si me lo comparten. Sí, ojalá. ¿verdad? Porque sí me lo pide Recursos Humanos. Ah, pues sí, para ver qué ha pasado. <risa> 
Que ella ha asistido, por lo menos. Que ha asistido, exacto. Sí, fecha límite de inscripción, 9 de diciembre, dice. Uh -huh. La otra semana. La tipa de, de inicio, el 9 de enero. Uh -huh. O sea, que van a tener un mes de vacaciones. Yo vi. Sí. Así es que tienen que entrar al formulario que les han dado para hacer reserva de inscripción. Okay. Ah, pues aquí está la confusión en el día de la inscripción. Uh -huh. Ahí les piden la evaluación anónima también. Sí, todo. Ok. Ajá. Y, y el curso lo terminamos el, el, el lunes 5. Entonces, viernes, me imagino yo que es 9, ¿verdad? Sí, sí viernes 9. Pero estamos bien por las parties, o sea. It's my wedding anniversary. Oh, when? 9th of December. On the 9th. Your anniversary. I, I got married on, on January because I, I didn't find date on the set. Really? Yes. <laughs> It was all... I reserved the church in November. No, in, in before. Ah. I reserved the church. One year July. before. You know, like July or something like that. Ah. It was near to the date. July. <laughs> I chose. It is. So that year when I got married, there were a lot of weddings in the church. Mm -hmm. every time, time yeah every time somebody go there asking for a date the priest called me and said so when are mm -hmm. you getting married and I said on the 9th of December okay no that day is not possible it's a red day <laughs> so I, they had to choose another one because I took it before with a lot of time before mm -hmm. you know uh, to be like I didn't want to do it in November, but not, in, not at the beginning of December, but not at the end, right? So, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, That's because okay. all the people is on vacation. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And since the November 9th, I took the vacation the rest of the month. <laughs> 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 so, yes, that was December. December. Mm -hmm. The month of celebrations. Oof, do you have the time to celebrate? I do. I'm on vacation already. I only hey. have class on Saturday morning. That's it. Well, I'm planning, but but it's like I can make my time, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. In other years, at this time of the year, I'm still with classes. But mm -hmm. I have my time, uh-huh. Last, let's see, on the 2020, we were working even for my birthday on December the 20th. We were still working because of yeah. the pandemic, everything got crazy, right? Yes. I finished classes on December 22nd that year. Mm. But it, no, I finished very soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, At time. To celebrate. Time to celebrate. Time to eat a lot. We oh, know. Oops. <laughs> Oops, no. No to eat too much. <laughs> bueno, vámonos pues. Let's go. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Hi, 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 hi. We're going to the uh, to check the attendance before we check the exercise you were doing 44 seconds that was easy right yes very easy Rosie was it easy a little yes it was. <laughs> yes a little okay yeah it was easy just to distinguish the facts of speech that we regularly use. But the thing is that it's very important that you know 
what part of speech they are because of the position that you give to each of them in the sentence, right? That's why it is so important. Well, now that we're all here, let's check attendance. Um, Present teacher. <laughs> Adolfo? Adolfo. No, that's Mauricio. Adolfo, no here. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Gemini. Ya sabe cuál es la multa, ¿verdad? Por perderse. ¿Sabe cuál es? Cantar. No. <risa> es la Esa la impusimos hace varios cursos. Que... Esta canta. ¿Verdad, Rosy? <risa> yes, teacher. Tiene que cantar. Tiene que cantar. Yes. Happy birthday. But when, when is the sing? When is the sing? Is the song? Today, ya. Vaya, Adriana María. <ríe> y Adriana. Yo qué digo. Adriana María. I remember once somebody sang the happy birthday song. Who was it? Do you remember? It was Anna, right? I did it. All right. So, yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. Okay. Vaya, pues vamos a perdonar un ratito. Eh, Adriana Sofía. No hay Adriana Sofía. No. Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. Brenda, por ahí estaba Brenda. Claudia. Claudia María. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Ok. Cruz. Present. Present teacher. Great. Hoy oh, sí, Claudia Townsend. Cruz Antonio. Cruz, Cruz, no here. David. Present. Ay, ¿dónde anda David? Hoy no lo había visto, David. José Alberto. José Alberto. Otro que va a cantar. Present teacher. Ah, otro que va a cantar. ¿Verdad? José Alfredo. Bien, chicos, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Exactly, we have the duo. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. José Alfredo, say present in the chat. Oh, ok, ok, thank you. Carlita. Present. Mauricio. I don't like to song. <laughs> you want to sing too. <laughs> you want to sing too. Okay. Cla Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. Okay. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saul. Saul, Saul. Sulma. Present teacher. Okay. Victor. Present teacher. Okay. Fernando. Fernando, Fernando, Fernando. Ah, and I'm meeting. Okay, Rosy. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Basha. Let's check your answers. Ahí está José Alfredo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Let's see. He, what is he? What is the word he? Pronoun. Pronoun. It's a pronoun. Very good. That's a pronoun. Like. 
What is like? Do you like dogs? Verb. It's a verb. Yes. yes. Listen. Do they listen to music every day? What is listen? Verb. It's a verb. She's an old lady. She's an old adjective. lady. Old is an adjective, yes. Oh, Victor, ten la party party. The group went <laughs> in the mountains. What is group? Now. It's a noun, yeah. Um, this is a fast car. What is fast? Adjective. This is an adjective because it is modifying car, right? He did well in the text. What is well? Adverb. It's an adverb, yes. It is an adverb because it is modifying how he did. It is modifying the action, the verb. My father drives carefully. What is carefully? What is carefully? It's an advert too. It's an advert too. Yes, that's true. It's an advert of manner, right? The one that describes the action. Okay. Uh, has your father ever been to Australia? What's father? No. It's a no. Uh, the play was fantastic. What is play? No. It's a noun, yes. Por qué noun y no verb? What is play in this context? Porque es como juego. Es, uh, when we say play, we're talking about what you go see to the theater. Es una obra de teatro. That's a play. So you say the play was fantastic. Romeo and Juliet is a play, right? Can be a movie, can be a play. Depends on where you're seeing it. If you go to the movie to see it, it you go to see the movie, right? Oh, but if you go to the theater, you will see the play. Then the play was fantastic. Play is a noun. Okay. Any question here? No question. No, teacher. Basha, yo les voy a mandar un link. Quiero que hagan. As in the virtual. Vamos a ver. Just checking general knowledge of the parts of speech. So check. I'm going to send it to the chat. I'm going to stop sharing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. What you have to do there is choose what is the correct option, right? What are the words? What parts of speech they are? I bought a beautiful dress at the mall. What is beautiful? Is it a preposition? Is it an adjective or a noun? Okay, that's what you're going to do. Okay, go ahead. At the end, it will check it, right? So you see your answers, how you did.
How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, good. That's good. I see Rosie finished and Jose too. That's Jose Arnoldo, right? Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Well, uh, let me check answer. Me dio el 100%, pero lo, lo capturé me dio el 90. <laughs> Ajá, ya vamos a ver por qué fue que le dio la mano. A ver, what do you have in the first one? A beautiful, I bought a beautiful dress at the mall. What is beautiful? Adjective. An adjective, yes. What did she ask you to do? Chi. What is chi? Is pronoun. A pronoun, yes. I left my shoes under the kitchen table. What is under? What is under? Mm -hmm. Is it an adjective? It's a preposition. It's a preposition. Preposition? It's a preposition. If we finish our work quickly, we can go to the movies. What is quickly? An adverb. An adverb. On Saturdays, I work from nine to five. Verb. What is work? Verb. A verb. Yes. I want to go to a university in the United States. University? Now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I have met your girlfriend before. What is met? Verb. A verb, yeah. Well, I don't think I'll be home before six. What is well in that case? Check. We know that well can be, can act like an adverb, like in the previous exercise we did. Right, but what happens when you have a well in this position? What is well? Is it an interjection, a preposition, or a pronoun? I think it's interjection. Mm -hmm. An interjection, very good. Number nine, Andy knocked on the door, but nobody answered. That. Conjunction. A conjunction, that. 
after yeah. lunch, let's Thank go you. out for a prep for a coffee. What is after? Preposition. A preposition. Yes. Ajá. Yo creo que la que le salió mala ha de haber sido well, ¿verdad? Con, a mí. Well, la number eight. Because in this example, well, when you say well, you're not saying I think well, or I cook well. If you say I cook well, well is an adverb. But if you say well, um, I will help you. That well is not an adverb in that case. It is an interjection. Yes. So that's how uh, the parts of speech may vary sometimes, depending on the position they are, like in the case of wealth, right? Any questions there? No? Well, no teacher, thank you. <laughs> no questions. Well, let's continue. We're going to use the, the interjection by a check. Here, we're going to be talking, remember, we're talking about steps for a simple counting problem. We're talking about a cycle counting, right? What you're going to do here is number the steps for a simple counting program. Which are the steps? You have select 200 items or parts, 200 items, 200 parts, 200 products, or 200 finished goods from your inventory for week one. Next, keep track of daily accuracy or daily variance percentages. Variance, repeat, variance. Variance. Barra, barra, No es variance, no, barra, barra. Es un sonido que barra. no existe en español. Barra, barra, barra. A ver, I want to hear you. <laughs> Mariah. 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 Como cuando usted dice Mariah, vea que no le dice la Maraya. Mariah. No, Mariah. 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 La Mariah. No. <laughs> you say Mariah, right? The same here, you say Barayans. Barayans. Repeat accuracy, accuracy, variance, percentages, variance, percentages, percentages, mm -hmm. through, 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 through. Mm -hmm. A ver, another. Hmm. Exceeds. Exceeds. But check. Then you have divide items into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. Select another 200 parts or products or finished goods from your inventory for week two. Localize cause, uh, cause of errors and correct inventory record. Accurately count and record all items and keep checking until accuracy exceeds 97% of minimum of two weeks. Okay, so which is the order? Number the steps for a simple counting program. Number one, is given, so you have to choose the other ones. Number the steps. Divide items. 
into count of 50 a day. Okay. Number two. Yes. Which will be number three. Which do you think is number three? I currently count and record all items. Uh -huh. Yes. Number four. Keep checking until accuracy exceeds 97 of for minimum of two weeks. There is one before that one. Well, there are local items. Huh? Maybe it could be keep track of daily occurrence by yes. variance percentage. Yes. Yes. What about number five? Number five, right? What do you think is number five? Maybe keep checking until a first exceed ninety seven percent for minimum of two weeks. But before that, they mentioned something else. La de localized cost of errors and correct inventory record. Exactly, that's number five. Localized cost of errors. Because remember, you keep a track of all the variants, right? But you don't leave the variants the way they are. So you correct them. And as you find them, you localize the error and correct the error. What about the next? Number six. Select another 200 parts. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you will repeat the same process with these other 200 parts. And the last one? Excellent, Fernando. Uh huh. What about number seven? What's number seven? Hmm? The last one. The last one, that's the easy one, right? Because it's the last one, there is no way to change. Okay, so check the track or check the, the steps, right? This is for a simple, simple, not sophisticated. This is for a simple counting program. One. Select 200 items or parts or 200 products or 200 finished goods from your inventory for week one. That's the first week. Uh, divide items into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. So Monday, no, right? Monday, you're not doing anything. 
Yes, from Tuesday. As you already remember, you have chosen 200. Then you say, okay, Tuesday, 50. Wednesday, we give a W. Other 50. Thursday, other 50. And I'm going to check the last ones, the last 50 on Friday. I 50. Okay, so I have a, like that, I have week number one. Yes. So first I, I select 200 items. Once I have the 200, as I want to do everything very, very carefully, right? I want to find the error. And if I live just checking too fast, I won't find the error. But I select the 200 items, and then I divide the items into 50, 50, 50, 50. So you see I have the 200, right? On Tuesday, I check this 50, and I will look for the errors in this 50. On Wednesday, other 50. On Thursday, I go with other 50. And on Friday, I go for other 50. So as I have my 50 for Tuesday, imagine number three, four, five, and uh, well, three, four, and five will be things that I'm going to be re uh, repeating every single day with each of the 50 items I have, right? Accurately count and record all items. So I have my 50 items for Tuesday. I will count them and then I'm going to record every single thing. In a system will be perfect, right? If you create a spreadsheet and you are introducing all data in that space. So accurately count and record all items of that Tuesday, right? And then I do another thing. I keep track of daily accuracy or daily variance. So if I have, imagine I'm checking this 50. I count them. I record all the 50 items. And I find something that doesn't match. It's not correct. I keep a track. So I imagine it a writing the correct information in one side, like dividing uh, uh, the notebook, right, the patient saying, okay, these things are correct, and this there is a variance in these items. So I'm going to record, or I'm going to keep a track of the things that are correct and of the things that are incorrect. Because like that, at the end, I'm going to find the error. So once I have that, I localize what happened. If I find a variance, that means that there is an error, right? I find the variance, I, I know there is an error. Why? What happened here? I have to localize the cause. So I don't, it's like when you're learning a language. If there is an error in the exam, you see the error, and you have to investigate why is that incorrect? Yes, like today that you tell me, I have it, uh, this is uh, wrong, but I don't know why. I have 90, but I don't know why. And then we went back, we checked each of the items, and we noticed what was the error. Right, so the idea is to localize the error and of course the cause of the error and then correct it, right? Correct, correct the record that you have in your inventory. Mm -hmm. Once you have done all those things for every single day and that's why you see they say select 200 but divide them in 50, 50, 50, 50, because I will do number two, number three, four, and five every day on these four days. And of course, that will take time. 
right? When I finish here on Friday, let's suppose I don't work Saturday, not Sunday either. On Monday, I will go back and select other 200 products, or the other 200 parts. That be for week two. So I'm ready for the following week to continue doing the same process again. That's why number seven is keep checking until accuracy exceeds the 97% for minimum of two weeks, right? So if I find the error and I correct the error, at the end, I should I should feel like okay now I can rest until my accuracy has gone over ninety percent, right? Not before. If I still have a lot of mistakes, I should continue doing this process again, again, and again, right? Any question here? That's simple. Imagine simple. What would be a sophisticated way for counting? <laughs> okay, because this, this is simple. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Questions about these steps? Yes, no? No questions? No. Okay, perfect. Now check. Now it's time for you to work in pairs. You're going to write the benefits of doing that cycle because this is a cycle, right? What we were mentioning here, it's a cycle because you go around and you do the same thing again, again, and again. And it's the life of the person who works in the inventory or the person who works in the warehouse. It's like, I know, teacher, I'm I'm repeating the same thing. Well, it's that's, that's why it is a cycle, right? You finish, you go again, and you repeat, repeat, and repeat. So what you're going to do after we know how that cycle uh, functions or works, you're going to rank in pairs the benefits of implementing a cycle count program like the one we were discussing from number one, which will be the most important and number five, the less important. As, right, as you rank those benefits, discuss your ranking and benefits with the class, okay? So rank them, discuss them with your partner, be ready to share your ideas with the class. Check a cycle count program or inventory accuracy count is a technique where inventory is counted on a cyclic schedule rather than once a year, right? That cyclic schedule is the one we were mentioning in the previous slide. The following are some of its advantages. So you see the advantages, reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture, generates focus on continuous impro improvement at the organization level, improves your supply chain operations through more accurate inventory data, helps identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and fulfillment errors. And the last one raises pro productivity and efficiency through more accurate data, leading to reduce operational and inventory carry costs. Okay? So, which are the benefits? Go ahead with your group. I'm going to stop sharing. You can go to your manual to see the page. In your manual, it is page 38, no, 39, okay? Page 39, you discuss with your partners and then you'll be ready to share. Questions, chicos? The benefits of what we were discussing before. 
Great teacher. Ready? Great, great. Okay, perfect. Let me move you to different groups. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Go ahead. Join, join. Pedro, lo voy a mover a otro grupo, a ver si le aparece la invitation. Victor, hello. Hi, Carlita. I was right exactly trying to bring you something, someone. I guess Nubia is here. Nubia, Nubia, hello. Hello, teacher. I, I am here. Sorry, Nubia, that I moved you, but Carlita, I had sent Carlita with four other people and nobody entered. Okay, I see <laughs> that, that you moved in another group. I am alone. <laughs> was okay. but now it's no more Carlita now you're not alone anymore <laughs> yesterday too really que barbaridad the thing is that some people I don't know why they don't join the groups you know, because they don't want to work <laughs> yeah. maybe unfortunately <laughs> that's true that's true, that's true. Well, you can work you too. We are on page 30K. 38. Yeah. Thirty-eight? No. Thirty-nine. No, thirty-nine. Nine. Thirty-nine. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have this page. In the manual? The people is not complete. My, my manual. manual. Ay, ya le mando al chat. ¿Le sirve en el chat de, de Zoom? ¿O digo en el chat de WhatsApp? Yes, yes. Vale. I can tell. Vaya, Carlita can share too. I'm sending you the page. Okay. Find the benefit of implementing a cycle count program. Most important. What is most? What is most important? <clears throat> I can. <coughs> Maybe the, the most important is racist. This is what is the pronunciation teaching? Racist. The rises productivity and efficiently throw more accurate data leading to the No. Race. 
What is the pronunciation of the race? Race. 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 Races. 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 I think this is most important. Mm -hmm. One of the most important benefits. Generates focus on continuous improvement improvement at the organization organizational level. El chucho ese no se calla. Okay, esa sería la uno. I think the number five is generates focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. Yeah, I think I think the same. Five. We have three, five, two, and one. And the, this is uh, four. <laughs> Helps you then uh, identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and fulfillment errors. That it will be the number four. Okay, we. Okay. We have three. We don't. Five, two, four, and one. In that order. Right? Hi, teacher. Hi, I see you're ready. Yes, we're Let's ready. Go Let's go then. Let's go. Couple of seconds, let's see, 30, 35 seconds. And then everybody will be back. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. It, it doesn't exist a a real order in the in the exercise that we have to we no, just no no. It will be depending on you what you consider the most important for you, depending on your company, right? Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is depending on what you wait and what you want. What, for example, something that may be important for one person probably will not be important for another one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. A ver, who will be my, my next volunteer? Mm 
volunteer, first volunteer group number one, Fernando, Rosy, Saul. Okay. Rosy, if you can share, please. Okay, teacher, this is what we think that is in, uh, very important. Mm -hmm. the, the first one is raises productivity and efficiency through more accurate de data, leading to reduce operation, operational and inventory carry cost. Because for, for us, the is the, the more important because it, re, it reduce cost. Uh, the second one, uh, we think that is helps identify and correcting receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and fulfillment er errors. Because if we don't have uh, too much uh, returns, it means that we we sell more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. That you're doing a good job, right? Yes. Things are not going to the wrong person. <laughs> and you're sending the things accurately, Ricky. Mm -hmm. The third one, uh, improve your, your supply chain operation through more accurate inventory data. Mm -hmm. Because we improve our operations. And if we improve our operation, it means that we can do a, a better job. Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth one uh, reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. Uh, it it's a uh, uh, a little bit least important, but we think that is the number four <clears throat> and the number five generates focus focus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uy, ya me <laughs> Generates focus. Focus and on continuous improvement at the organizational level. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, we keep uh, improve, improving our job or way to do the things. Exactly. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you very much. Okay. Excellent. A ver, group number two. Brenda, Cruz, Jose Alfredo, Carla, Lorena, Nubia, Victor. Aha. Uh -huh. Volunteer, volunteer from the group. Big team, teacher. Big team. A ver, Nubia. <laughs> I, I share. Okay, Carlita, go ahead. Yes, yes. I bien, bien, no, sí, ya la vi que ya bien. I didn't find. <laughs> you lost it. Uh, en el manual. Yes, uh, I, I... Uh, I have many windows open. Ah, uh, 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 de lever más. This is okay. Perfect. Maybe Nubia can be talk. <laughs> Nubia. <laughs> I I have a difference. If I think different. <laughs> yes. It's okay. That happens. Mm -hmm. In that, 
on the cycle uh, for we uh, in number one uh, raises productivity and efficiency throughout more accurate data. And mm. uh, number two, improves your supply chain's operation through more accurate inventory data. And number three, helps identify and correct receiving shelving, ordering, packaging, uh, labeling, etc. And number four, generate focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. And number five, reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. But I don't know if that is correct or no. But uh, for we, for you, that that those are the benefits. That you... yes, okay, <clears throat> nice, nice. Remember mm -hmm. that the information may vary, right? They may vary depending on what are the benefits or which benefits you consider more important for you in your company. Right. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Novia. And then we have group number three, Claudia Guadalupe, Jose Arnoldo, Mauricio, and Pedro Luis. Who will chair? Mm -hmm. What group, teacher? Okay. What group? You, number three. Okay, I am on the phone, but I work with uh, Pedro. Pedro. I don't know if Pedro can share. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, if you can share, says my audition. Uh, let me see. I think it's this. The number one. It was this. Mm -hmm. Raises productivity and, eff and, efficiency, and efficiency through more uh, accurate data leading to reduce operational and inventory carry costs. Then, the number one, number two, it was improve your supply chain's operations through more accu accu accurate inventory data. Then in number three, it uh, reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. Number four is helps identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and fulfillment errors. And the number five is generates focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. Okay, thank you, Pedro. So you see, sometimes in a very little thing, right, but they vary, okay? Because it will be depend on what is important for you and your company. And the last group, okay. Adriana, yeah. Use um, observation. Yeah. I see that for everyone, the okay. most important is the, the last. The last one, uh-huh, exactly. 
Exactly. That's what I was checking. That the last one ra raises productivity and efficiency through more accurate data, leading to reduced operational and inventory care costs. Remember, always a business, uh, every business is following money, right? And what they want to see all the time, the most important thing is to be effective and to reduce costs, right? That would be like the most wonderful benefit that you can have in a company. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, Adriana, Ana, Jose Alberto, or Zulma, who will chair? Teacher, we have the same uh, order as the first group. First group, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if Adri could share. Sorry. But it, it, it was the same order. Okay. If, if you want that I share. Sure. Yeah, yeah, Salma, please. Okay. Yeah. It, is, it, it is the same as the first group. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Exactly the same, right? Okay. We thought that first we have, uh, well, the, the benefits are that raises productivity and efficiency. Number two helps identify and correct receiving as the sentence said, right? Mm -hmm. But we we thought that we, that- was really it was written in French, it comes right away. Mm -hmm. That's the order we can decide. Okay, yes. And definitely, as Mauricio said, the one that everybody has as number one is the last one, right? So it's like the most important because remember, in a company, we're always looking for efficiency. If you are efficient and effective, you have everything. Because then you save money and you save the uh, time. Time is money. And especially when you're talking about business, it is very important to take into consideration uh, saving time and saving money too, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. We are the punctual. It's exactly 10 p.m. and we go for the last attendance. Just one thing before we go to the attendance check. As remember, every Friday I'm collecting the, the scores, right? The scores of the of the platform. Today I'm going to collect the scores of unit number four. I already collected the ones that were ready a couple of days ago, so I already collected them. But today I'm going to give a check to the platform and I'm going to collect unit number four. And if you already have the final exam, I'm going to collect it too. Remember, we finish this course next Monday, right? Monday is the last day of the class. That means that on Monday, we complete- Another the year? Yes, we, that's the last class of the year. And you are beginning next course. Tentative date is January 9th, next year, right? They already sent you a message in the chat saying that uh, you have time to send the documents up to December the 9th, right? December the 9th is like the, the last date. So give a check to the requirements and to the information that they have shared with you in the in the group of WhatsApp, right? And be ready for next year. You will have a month to rest so you can charge batteries, dedicate to family and do different things. And in January, you can be more than ready to continue learning, right? To continue with level number five. And going back to the platform, remember that the platform, I'm collecting grades today. 
I'm rechecking tomorrow and giving like the last check on Monday, right? And Monday will be just to see that everybody is complete and that by the next day, uh, when when they come check if I have everything complete, we're ready, right? We are more than ready. So that's the time that you have today. If you haven't finished uh, today, by the time I collect, be sure that you finish by tomorrow, okay? So I'm updating, I'm, I'm making my inventory daily, <laughs> right? I'm updating the, the, the list and I'm, I'm checking every people that are uh, completing, getting the information. So I have it complete. But most of you have done a part of unit number four. So being sure that you finish unit number four and that you finish the final exam. Okay. Any questions over there? No, teacher. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Now let's go for the last attendance of the day. Adolfo. Adriana Maria. Present. Adriana. Sí, Adriana Sofía no here, right? Adriana Sofía no. Mm -hmm. Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. Present teacher. Good. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Present. Okay. Cruz Antonio. Present, Present. teacher. Mm -hmm. Cruz. Cruz. Present. Okay, great. David. David. No está David. Oh, that's very strange. David was here at the beginning or no? No, oh, teacher. Huh? Mm, I don't remember, teacher. No idea. No idea. I remember he told me present at the beginning. I have marked him with present at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. No está Jose Alfredo. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Mauricio. Good night. Good night. Zulma. Nubia, dijo. Present. Nubia Zulma. Present teacher. <laughs> Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl. Present. Saúl, yeah. Right. So, we see, so, we see, so, we present. so, we see, Present teacher. Present teacher. see, so, we see, so, we see, so, we see, so, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. 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 God bless you. Happy weekend. Thank you. You too. Enjoy your weekend. See bye, teacher. Bye-bye, Carlita. I enjoy working. You're still working? <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to work this weekend, right? Uh, I have to work. Oh. Well, enjoy, <sighs> enjoy your job too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Bye. Welcome. Bye bye.
Hi, Brenda.